Hello everybody, today we're going to do some tessellating shapes. That means shapes that will fit together without any gaps between them. Let's look at some. Let's start with a square. I love a square, nice easy sort of rectangle. Let's see if we can put lots of squares next to each other. Remember with no gaps. Oh, pretty good. Would you say a square was a tessellating shape? Absolutely. Let's give it a tick. OK, let's try another one I like. Hexagons. You see a lot of hexagons in nature. Bees make honeycombs in hexagon shapes. So let's see if they tessellate. What do you think? Say yes or no to the person next to you. Have a guess. OK, let's find out. Here we go. Here's a row of hexagons. Can we put another row in? Do they fit? And another row? Well, well, well. Looks like hexagons are pretty good at tessellating. Okay, let's see who's up next. Oh my word, look, it's a regular pentagon. What do you reckon? Will he tessellate? Say yes or no to the person next to you, and let's find out. Okay, have you all said yes or no? Okay, here comes another pentagon. Beautifully fitted. Another pentagon. Beautifully fitted. Here comes another. Oh, he can't get in. Oh no. So, regular pentagons don't tessellate. Who's up next? Ah, look, it looks like a triangle. An isosceles triangle. That's a special one where two sides are the same. Let's let's see if they tessellate. What do you reckon? Say yes or no to the person next to you. Well, we're going to have to be a bit sneaky here and turn our next triangle upside down. And if we alternate them, you can see that triangles tessellate really well. In fact, it's not just isosceles triangles. All triangles tessellate really well. Now, there's one last shape that we're going to look at today. And that's the rectangle. You see, you've probably got a rectangle around you, a book or a piece of paper. Have a look at these rectangles. You can see how quickly and easily they can tessellate. But we're going to take a rectangle and we're going to change it into an amazing shape. And this is your job. Here's how it works. Firstly, take a rectangle. Now, cut a piece off the right-hand end. All I've done is uh, take a diagonal line like this and just cut a piece off. And what you need to do is stick it onto the left-hand end. The next job is to cut a small piece, I've used a triangle here, out of the bottom and stick it on the top. Use some tape or some glue and just stick it on the top to make this very weird looking shape. Now, here's the really clever part. Now you need to get a big sheet of paper and put your shape on top of the big sheet of paper on the left and very carefully draw around it. Now, slide it along and draw around it again and again. And when you've filled up a row, do the second row. And why not do a third row? You see, you've created your very own tessellating shape, unlike anyone else's in the world. How amazing is that?